hello and welcome to another video and in this video we are going to see how to clone a hard disk using pi box dual bay hard disk duplicator so let's see some scenarios when we may want to clone our hard disk such as when we want to upgrade our hard disk to an ssd or to replace a failing hard drive or to create a complete system backup or even to create some identical computer or if you are migrating to a new computer while keeping your software and settings intact so these are some scenarios when we may want to clone our hard disk so for cloning the hard disk we are going to use pi box dual pay hard disk duplicator which supports offline cloning now offline cloning means that the computer the disks are detached from the computers yes you can clone uh, hard disks using cloning softwares as well if the hard disks are connected to the computer but in this particular video, we are going to show you how to do this using PI Box cl offline cloning. So this PI Box device works as a docking station as well as a duplicator. And it supports 2.5 inch and 3.5 inch hard disk or SSD. So you can use any combination of these devices on this uh, docking station. So for this particular video, we have a laptop here with uh, 240 gig SSD drive and we want to upgrade the hard disk with a 512 gig uh, SSD drive. So we want to clone this SSD to this SSD, which is higher in capacity. So this is the PA box docking station with dual bay and this is for the source disk and this is for the target disk. So this SSD with 240 gig is our uh, source disk so it will go into the slot A or bay A. And the second SSD with 512 gig is our target disk. This is where we want the data to be cloned to so this will go into the second bay after that turn on the power on the PI box dock and we'll see the LED lights on the dock illuminate and uh, the dock is now ready for cloning process Next, we need to press the clone button for about 3 seconds until the LED indicator starts blinking and then press the clone button again to confirm the cloning process. So the cloning process has started and we can monitor from the LED indicators provided at different percentages. Once it is completed, we will hear a buzz. So let's wait for that. So that buzz sound indicates the completion of the cloning process. Now I will try to connect this uh, to another computer and let's see if both the hard disks are detected or just one is detected. So I have connected the PI box with both the hard disks and I can see that only one of the hard disk is detected. And if I look at the size of the hard disk, this is the one which is in slot A, that is the source disk. And this is also mentioned in the user manual at point number 8. It's good that they gave us a thorough user manual, otherwise we'll be confused what to do next. So it says that one of the hard disk will show offline in the computer disk management. So let's go and see. Sorry for the poor video quality here, but I think you can see that there are three disks detected here disk 0, disk 1 and disk 2 and uh, as you can see disk 2 is offline and as per the size this is the 5.2 gig so it says something about a signature collision here 
and this is because obviously we have cloned the disc so uh, both are identical now so the system is not loading one of them anyway the cloning process has completed and as you can see the disc partitions are exactly the same uh, in both the discs now I'm gonna disconnect the uh, PI box from here and I'm going to replace the hard disk on the laptop and see if Windows and everything else is working fine. But before I do that, I just want to do a quick test. As we have just seen, if we connect both the hard disk uh, to a computer, then we are able to see only one of the hard disks, that is the one in slot A. So I'm going to remove the one on slot A and I want to see if this hard disk is detected. I'm going to switch it on and I just want to see if this hard disk is detected and whether uh, it is cloned properly or not. Yes, it is detected and yeah, the folders are exactly as it should be. So I think it is okay. I can go ahead and replace this hard disk on the laptop and see if Windows boot uh, correctly so I have installed my SDD which just got cloned from this one let's try to boot so after the cloning process is done the new hard disk functions exactly like the previous one and we are able to boot into Windows successfully